In this video, we'll go over the second full encounter in this Vesper's Host mission, which is Rainex Unified. So this will actually be an encounter where you're actually doing DPS. For this encounter, DPS, eventually the boss is going to turn to a bunch of servitors. So I would use things that do damage to a bunch of things at once. Uh, Tether will help here. You could probably use something like parasite that would help for burst damage because the the damage window will not be the longest in this mission you will be using the operator and you'll be using the suppressor buffs you will not be using scanner when you're first going to go in the room you're going to notice a bunch of operator panels that are numbered from zero through nine that'll become important later you're going to continue to shoot and kill ads and at some point you will get the operator buff to drop you don't need that yet so go ahead and just park that in the portal kill the big guy which will then suck you into the next arena. In this arena, you're gonna see the boss. You're also gonna see a ton of exploders and enemies. Very quickly, go and deal with that. You're also gonna to wanna to hide. This is the same boss in the previous encounter that was basically, if you got close to him, he would use an integration buff and he would kill you. So don't let him see you too long. Kill all the enemies and then a suppressor will show up. For the suppressor, you're going to get that and then what you're gonna do is get near the boss and use your grenade button and that will actually put a decoy that will break this basically mass of servitors up. What you're going to notice is that you see a bunch of these servitors who have Rainix dash with a number. What you're looking for is two of the servitors are going to have red eyes and four eyes instead of one. And for those, you're going to remember the numbers. So the numbers may be one or six or seven, but the point is you're looking at the Rainix dash whatever and you're memorizing those two numbers. At that point, once you get that, go back. There's basically exits in the back. Go back to that and you will lose the suppressor buff, but that's okay because you don't need it right now. Again, go back to that center room, slay out the ads, kill the larger one and get sucked back in. At this point, you're going to do the exact same thing. What you're trying to do again is find out there are going to be two additional numbers. So the goal here is what you're really trying to get to is you need to shoot four of the operator panels in the other in the center room to get to a boss DPS phase. This is one of the reasons that you don't need the operator until you get to this point. So once you go back to center room again, you're gonna know what the four are. So at that point, go and shoot those terminals. Once you do that, the boss is going to start separating into its components. Now, you won't be able to do the bulk of DPS until it's completely separated, but as soon as you do that, he will be damageable. So at that point, just slay out. Do as much damage as you can, keeping in mind as you, he's a bunch of servitors, so as you kill the different servitors, you will get to a point where there's damaged things all around him. It may be difficult to actually shoot some of the servitors. So you may have to like look around and use even primary weapons to take those little last bit of uh, damage off. If you didn't damage him enough at that point, you repeat the same uh, mechanics basically. You go in, you get the suppressor, you suppress him, you get the two potential things that you have to shoot in the operator, you get a total of four, you do that, you do DPS, and then you're done. That's a video. If you like the video, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and check my Discord, and I'll see you guys in the tower.